Welcome to SPHS 697 Capstone. This is Jason Mitchell, and we are doing the right cross punch biomechanical analysis and breakdown. Here we will take our subject, Cody, a 37 year old boxer, and we will break down his right cross and work on making it better. We will compare him to some of the greats from the past legends of Joe Lewis to current legends to Floyd Money Mayweather. We will take the best from both styles and incorporate them to what works best with Cody's style. We will then use our knowledge of kinesiology and biomechanics to make the best right cross. There are many biomechanical variables from the placement of the rear foot, the front foot, bend in the knees, the torsion of the hips, the motion of the shoulders and torso, and the total angle over the center line of the body. As we see here, we have Cody extending for a right cross in his full extension. This is a good amount of extension to not go over the center line and lose your balance falling forward. Here we have Floyd Money Mayweather, one of the greatest of all time, demonstrating a great right cross landed. He covers a lot of ground falling forward over his center line, but he has to do it in order to make contact with his opponent. Here we have Joe Lewis with a more balanced right cross, not going over his front line too far. As you can see here, Cody has a slight bend in the knees, but does not turn very well off his back foot. We'll work on that and get him bending more in the knees and getting him turning off the back foot, creating more power. Here we have Joe Lewis, one of the greatest of all time, and he has a very compact and short right cross that is also very powerful. Watch how he loads up with the right hand, a bit unorthodox, but creates a massive amount of power in a short amount of space. It's very sneaky and efficient with his power. We can certainly take a few cues from Joe Lewis, such as his ability to create leverage and punch over the rope, as we say. Here you see him with the combination, coming forward over the center line, almost as if throwing a baseball. Here he is slightly over the center line, not as far as Mayweather, for a more controlled, but you see him fall forward over his right cross. You can get away with this if it lands cleanly and you're knocking at your opponent. But for a defensive stance, to be on the safe side, you want to be balanced at all times. For Cody, we're going to work on keeping his center line just slightly forward, if not exactly over his center. This will help him keep his balance and maintain a defensive position if his right cross is to not land on his opponent. He'll be able to get his right hand back up, be in the defensive position, ready to block or throw again. Notice the rear foot of Joe Lewis turning and creating all the power and leverage over the right hand. With our strength and conditioning program, followed by coaching cues, we're going to work on Cody's right cross. Here we are in an earlier training session. We're going to focus on turning off the back foot, transferring power by extending through the back leg, the right leg, turning the hips, the torso, and the shoulder, and extending the right arm over the rope, as we say, keeping his posture tall and working on his right cross. These are some different cues here, bending at the knee, twisting the hips, and the angle created punching up and over the rope. And here we are with Cody's new and improved right cross. Can you see his whole body in the video? Yep. Cody has been boxing for many years and the changes are very subtle in his stance. But we have very noticeable to me training him that his punches are much sharper and his right cross is faster and he's more balanced and more efficient.